It's a beautiful day once again and welcome back to Dexter's World Channel. Well, I must be honest with you, I really had bad morning today because we experienced heavy downpour. And our quail had been soaked with water and we wake up very early in the morning, as early as 3 o'clock in the morning, just to save our animals. I'm so worried about the animals also right there at the farm. Because we already had experienced flood before. I just hope that the safety of our animals there are just okay. But uh, right here in the house, we were actually very busy then rescuing our our animals the the geese and even the catfish we have a little problem about the catfish because this uh, one bottle of zone rocks was uh, accidentally dropped by one of our staffs in the fish pan that's why we were so panic early in the morning i saw some dead catfish and i was so shocked to witness all these uh, things that are happening and I instructed my staff to get all the catfish and transfer that in a safer tank. And these are the circumstances that I had uh, experienced just a few days ago. And another thing, I received a letter from the local government, from the city hall. I was informed that the farm that we have in Barangay Talaban will be utilized for public use. When I asked them what particular project that the government will undertake in this area, in our farm, and they said that they are going to convert that into a runway of the Sambuanga City International Airport. Because our airport here in the city is located at the heart of the city and they perceive it to be very dangerous. That's why they made an effort to transfer that and uh, it so happened that they chose our place, of course not only our place but in that whole area that includes our farm, to become the new airport, Sambuanga City Airport. And uh, this leaves me no option except to think of another place where I can transfer all my pets. We have ostrich there, we have many chickens, we have goats. I was so worried about this one. I was really praying hard to, you know, give me some ways now to do solution over this problem. And when the door is closed, another door is open. And I thank God because when I share this problem to my friends, one of them said that you can use my property. This property is just very located near in this place, in the house. This morning, we were able to clean up some portion. We used the grass cutter and I can sense that this place is a very suitable place for our ducks and other animals. So this is actually a half hectare and I featured this in one of my videos before that this half hectare could be a good start up for our new farm. And we have not agreed as to the terms and conditions about the use of property, but I'm so positive that in uh, the coming years, we can own this property because this is for sale. Only that i short of cash to pay him in full uh, at this very moment. That's why I'm hoping that we can purchase that lot because uh, this is very near. These are the sad things. Forgive me for relating to you all these uh, things. But as what I have always mentioned that I am a positive person. We experience so many trials, tragedy in the farm. There are flood. We have experienced that. My kois before were all dead. And these are the normal things actually that we can experience if we're into farming. And uh, that is why today, uh, I'm going to rescue the eggs of our, our geese because our geese have already laid their eggs and I'm so happy for that. But I will admit that I am ill-prepared about this one because I'm due to 
make a house for these geese, but they lay their eggs very early. I wanted to save the eggs of these geese because if I will just uh, leave them there, there is a tendency that this will be soaked with water because our weather here in the Philippines is really uh, very unpredictable. You will experience very good weather and suddenly it will rain so hard so it's unpredictable. So now I would like you to be with me and I will get some of the eggs of our geese. The geese are noisy. Good morning. Good morning. It's a rainy day. I'm so sorry. But I have to get your eggs. Wow, I will save your eggs. I cannot just allow that to become wet. I have to include. I know that you have laid your eggs. I have to get that. I will just return it and you will incubate that one. Okay, 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 wait, 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 wait. Don't be panicked. Just relax. Just relax. I have to take care of your eggs. So sorry. Okay. You will preserve your eggs, of course. Oh, no, no, no. Oh. Oh, oh no 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 I will not get I mean I will get this but I will preserve this one yeah. Ow No no please I will get this one I will get I will get this one You see guys they have laid three eggs already and since it was uh, raining uh, some of the eggs got wet I mean the three eggs got wet. Wait, wait, but they are so noisy. Ow! Oh, shit. Oh, no, no. No. Wow. I'm sorry, but I had to get this one because I wanted to preserve this. Okay, this is for your no good. Okay. So. I'm so sorry for this. I, I mean, I mean, I am not prepared for. I, I I thought that they will lay eggs in the middle of April, but oh, they have laid eggs in March. Anyway, this is a, a learning experience. I hope that they will not stop laying eggs because their experience. If they will get the eggs, they will stop laying. But I know that they will understand. And this is not the final setup that I'm going to make for them. This is just very temporary so that we can maximize the production of our bees. So this is it. We have three eggs right here. And we will carry that inside. Oh, you hurt me, Milo. You hurt me, no. Oh, I love you. I love you. <laughs> peace, mom. Peace, mom. <laughs> peace, mom. <laughs> And I can sense that our cockatiels have fully adjusted with this uh, kind of environment, this kind of setup. And when I first made a vlog about my cockatiel, I was planning actually to mix them with the African lovebirds. But there were so many violent reactions and I'm so thankful for you helping me through your comments. You said that it's not advisable to mix the, the albs or the African lovebirds to the cockatiel because they might kill this cockatiel because the African lovebirds are so aggressive. 
and uh, I'm so thankful with this. I share this because I wanted to extract your, your, your comments and opinion and indeed you have helped me a lot and thank you. Thank you for helping me. And I can sense that they will lay their eggs soon, very soon. And I understand also your concern about this nest box because it's too small for this kind of bird. This is for the African lovebirds. Well, I am really very thankful for the suggestions that you have made. And by the way, we are about to start the fabrication of our big cage for the African lab bricks. And I'm so excited about this project. And I just hope that we can finish this the soonest possible time because we are running out of time. They are going to take our property, of course, with payment. I don't know if how much they're going to pay us. But we are running out of time because this transfer could be very tiresome. And uh, in preparation also of our new farm, I am really doing uh, much effort to, to clean this up, this very big uh, place, so that we can immediately transfer the ducks and even the other animals, even the goats. What's that? It's a big We will update you about the development of this uh, property. We hope to um, transfer our ducks right here. And this is the day one accomplishment. And maybe in the next couple of days, we can actually clean this up. This is a half hectare property that it's very suited for the farm. And uh, it's uh, very convenient on my part because it's just located just very near to my house so I hope that we can develop this one and of course we pray for our protection because there are many cobras right here there are many snakes big snakes and even there's uh, big lizards that are thriving in this uh, particular bushy area I will jump really good with that oh, I don't think. <laughs> oh, it's Rana. Well, if there are bad things happening there are also good things that are happening actually this is uh, one of the sign of life you know this talisai tree this is a variegated talisai tree this uh, indian almond tree actually that's different species i don't know what's uh, the exact name of this but i was told that this is the indian almond tree variegated version and i i bought this one already a tall tree and when we transferred it here it was uh, really affected that all the the leaves were dried up i thought it's this is already dead but uh, the leaves now are coming up and this is a sign of life and you will see down here that i already have improved our ground here i planted some creeping uh, plants we call this locally mani mani because it looks like peanut 
in our local dialect, we call peanut as mani. And uh, since this looks like a fake peanut, because if you will see peanuts on the farm, it looks like this one, though uh, it doesn't have flowers. This one is really very ornamental, and these plants like to be exposed in the sunlight, heat of the sun. And uh, right here, we have also some uh, lugs here, but this is not a true lug. This is just made of cement. I bought this one just uh, yesterday. And in fact, I also bought some good plants like the bugambilia. It's right there. I will carry that one. This bugambilia is like a, a bonsai now. This is very costly. See that one? Wow. It's my joy really to take care of the plants and I've started to collect some of the some plants like this one. Ah, ah, yeah, it's heavy, very heavy. Ah, ah, see? What about if we're going to put that here? Of course, we will put some soil. If I will put this one right here, do you think it looks good? Oh, I'm sorry. This is gonna be the final scenario of this garden. So these lugs will look like a natural lug. And then on top of this, we have this bonsai of this bugambilia. You look at the flowers very nice flower to look at but momentarily I will just put it here and I will ask my staff to fix everything and uh, this afternoon I'm set to buy another color of flowers it's still bugambilia it's a, a bonsai tree and uh, I will put that here maybe color you can suggest any color because there are yellow orange and even white so this could be the emphasis for this garden and you know that I'm dreaming really to have a restaurant in the future where we can eat native foods exotic foods for that matter the fried quail this uh, catfish we have there the lettuce the salad and many others we have the turkey and the native chickens and that's gonna be the recipes that we can prepare for this Dexter's World restaurant. That's a dream. And that's gonna happen in the future. It will not happen maybe this year, but in the coming years, I'm very positive. And you will see also that those of you who are with me in the preparation of this area, you know that this was a swampy area filled with bushes and even this water lilies. And then we tried our best to improved this one we bought some peeling materials we spent around 150 big trucks of this just to elevate the place and level this to the higher ground and it's happening now and you will see that i also plant some bermuda well i can just imagine if all this bermuda will creep and cover all this property that's gonna be exciting i will convert this place into a beautiful garden and i hope that will be materialized within this year but I can sense that the Bermuda are already creeping and over there we also have Bermuda I don't know if this is the correct term in English Bermuda just correct me if I'm wrong see and we have exerted so much effort in you know developing this uh, property and right there you will also see our Bugambilia this the color is white this is not like this before because the branches were just scattered and I decided to make this round of course I tied the tip of the branch and then I pulled it down here so that it will look like a, a ball and this is already round and I'm looking at uh, the possibility of you know uh, having a farm also of this bugambilia because they are really flowering especially if they are exposed to the sunlight and you will see right here that our plants are thriving 
and I don't know what's the name of this in English but we locally call this baho baho because it, it has a smell the smell is, is stinky so that's why we call this baho baho you see it's flowering and the color is yellow I really love yellow colors so guys that's all that we can share with you so far and forgive me for unloading my my worries not problems but uh, just little of uh, concerns in so far as our farm is concerned and uh, thank you for understanding and I hope that you will still continue to like and share our videos and if you are not subscribed to this channel may humbly ask you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell because we are uploading videos every two days now and shout out also to the new members of the family those ones who have joined uh, to our channel thank you so much and even our followers and viewers thank you so much only here at Dexter's World